coming to you from the Orange Room in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. This is It's Only Food with your host, Chef John Polite. Chef John Polite, and this is It's Only Food. Welcome back, everybody. Today, it's July 23rd. It's still hot. We have got some rain, finally, to cool things off. I didn't want to run to the store to grab a bunch of ingredients, so I looked in our freezer just to see what I had, and I came up with this really cool dish. Fruit salad with some sautéed shrimp, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Anyway, let's go into our kitchen and see what we got for our ingredients. We got the fruit salad that I already cut up. We got some of my magical seafood dust that you can buy online. Some basil out of our garden. Some shrimp that I found in the freezer that I've cut up, deveined, and peeled. And then of course, separate from that, we're gonna have two parts. Our dressing, which is orange juice. Uh, I've got some dehydrated onions in there because I didn't want to go to the store for shallots. So I'm letting those reconstitute and rehydrate in the orange juice while we're talking. I've got some powdered sugar and I've got a mixture of uh, apple cider vinegar and olive oil that we will use to make our dressing. So it's a two-part show. Basically we're going to cut up the shrimp, cook it, and then put it into the salad. Mix it all up with the dressing that we make too. So stick around. This is going to be an interesting show. All right, well we're going to start off first things first. We're going to make our dressing because we want to have that uh, marry the flavors together and have that set before we add all the other ingredients to it just so it has a chance to get used to each other. So we're going to make that first. And like I said, I have taken the dehydrated onions because I didn't want to go out and just buy shallots. So I put them right in to the orange juice to rehydrate them and we'll have that nice onion flavor in there to mix with all the other. Uh, I've got olive oil and I've got uh, apple cider vinegar. The recipe did call for balsamic, but I don't have any balsamic in the house. I know, hard to believe. So those are together. I'm just going to mix that right in there. And of course, last but not least, of course it won't be last because we have to add salt and pepper. So there's some, uh, I hope you got it, it's powdered sugar and not cornstarch. So. Oh, it's sugar. So, I'm adding that in there. My wife's got all these containers over everything, but should have them marked, so I don't know. So, and I never get into them unless I'm doing a show, so. And then a little bit of salt and pepper, or pepper and salt in this case. Then we're just gonna whisk this all together. Whisk it up. And that's what it's gonna be. Oops, back it up. And you're just going to have that much. I don't have a recipe for this. I'm just eyeballing this. Uh, now, the reason I put it into such a huge bowl is because back in the day when I worked at restaurants where I was both the cook and the dishwasher, they weren't huge restaurants, people. These are just mom and pop places. But in order to save money, of course, they paid a cook to do dishes too. So I learned a long time ago if I didn't want to do a lot of dishes, I had to reinvent the way things were done. So I would make the dressing in the bowl or whatever I was making, and that way I wouldn't have to wash a whole bunch of small bowls. And then, so we're gonna add everything we make into this, and then we're just gonna whip it up again, and there you go, we don't have to have another bowl. Not like, you know, I can save all this crap for my wife to do, but yeah, right, like I'm that brave. All right, now we're gonna cook the shrimp. We're gonna just gonna set that right into the pan, let that cook while we uh, do the last minute things that we need to do for ourselves. So, turn on the old burner. Hey, what on? Just gonna add about a tablespoon or two of some olive oil. Let that get hot. Now the basil, I'm sorry, <laughs> the shrimp that I'm using, I got on sale a while back, it was in our freezer. I peeled and deveined it and I have taken the shell off and the tail. Some of them have broken in half or two. Just because they were on sale doesn't mean they're bad quality. These are the pristine kind of shrimp that you wanna deep fry or use if you're going to do a nice appetizer or something. Since we are making a salad, it's gonna be mixed in with other ingredients. We don't need to worry about the, the uh, concept of the way it looks because it's just a main 
it's a player in the dish, it's not one of the main characters. So now we'll just throw this right into the pan, let that go, and then I'm going to turn the camera uh, this way so we can see the basil. There we go. We're still recording, thank God. Now this came out of my garden. It's not your typical Christmas basil or your uh, big flat leaf basil that you got. It's spicy bush basil and it's very pungent and very aromatic. And I think this will complement this dish nicely. So I'm just gonna cut this down. This is stems and I'm not, it's like thyme almost. But I am not gonna sit there and shred all these little leaves off the stems because I think the stems are more delicate than a thyme stem is. So I'm just going to kind of grind this up really nice with a knife, mince as it were, hopefully under the shot. Hey, I am. So I'm just going to set this off to the side after I've got it kind of ground down to where I want it. It's going to add color to the dish and also another element of flavor. Move the camera back to the shrimp. Now we can see that the colors are changing around the edges. It's gonna throw it in there. I want it to be a, kind of an orangish, pinkish hue. That way we know the shrimp's done because the last thing we want to do is put raw shrimp into a dish. And in this element, I'm sorry, in this application, we are going to use, of course, Chef Polite's seafood seasoning, screaming seafood seasoning. This is going to add some more flavor to it. This was specifically designed for seafood. You can find it at my website on www.itsonlyfood.biz. Some of you guys have it and have tried it, and I'm hearing some good things about it. Let that go. Now, of course, we're going to have to let now, of course, we're going to want to cool the shrimp off after it cooks in the pan. Once it's done, we will do that. But right now, turn the camera again. We're going to add all the other stuff in there. My wife was so generously, my wife so generously uh, pitted some cherries, and we have cantaloupe and blueberries in there. She doesn't know I'm doing this. But she will when she gets home. But I took about a cup, one of these, and I took it out of the bowl that she did, she did a whole lot of it, but I just didn't want to go out today, it's storming, so I just found some stuff in our fridge, or our ice box, as it were, for all of us over 50. Then I'm going to add the basil to this that I've cut up. The shrimp is still cooking up real nice. Oh, it smells good. That seasoning is pretty good. I'm not bragging about my own product, but believe me, it's good. It's got a little celery seed in there, and that's going to add another complement the flavor of the salad, too, I believe. So, www.itsonlyfood.biz. I'll leave a link, hopefully, right here that you can click on. Right here. It'll be right there. Yeah, that basil I've got, it's got a hint of cinnamon in there, and it's not a cinnamon basil, it's spicy bush, but that smells really good. I think I'll add a little behind my ears. So, it smells like a, a cookie. All right. You're seeing the shrimp cook? It's almost, well, it has curled its way around to its tail. It's got a nice orange color to it. It is done. So we're gonna turn that off, we're gonna let it cool, then we'll add it to our salad, we'll mix it up, put it on a plate real pretty, take a couple pictures of it, put it with some music, and then we'll come back and you'll get to see me try and taste it. Anyway, we will be right back, don't go away. shots of this. I love this camera. It gives some beautiful shots for the food. Uh, now we're going to try it out. I love shrimp, so I'll try not to eat all the shrimp, okay? So, 
All right, well, there's one there. I'm gonna, uh, I am going to start with the shrimp, though, just because it's shrimp. I'm getting all of the flavors from this. You can taste the olive oil. You can taste the juice. You can taste the, actually the fruit. You can taste the fruit on this too. Uh, my uh, wonderful seasoning. It's got that celery seed bite to it. Uh, the basil. The basil I thought would overpower this, but it's just a hint in the back. It's a hint in the background. It's just adding to the dish. It's, that's all it's doing. Um, I'll try a cherry now. Mmm. Tartness of the cherry there, mixed with the lemon, I'm sorry, with the orange juice and the uh, apple cider vinegar, it's got a, got, a, got a play in there too. I can taste everything in the dish. Mm. This is very good, very light. Chill it too before you serve it. Put everything together and then set it into the refrigerator get it ice cold. That really brings out the flavors too. But, Thanks a lot for watching. It's only food. This is a very good dish. It'd be a good side dish for anything else you have, too. Uh, like the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you like this. Uh, subscribe to the show and channel if you haven't already. And then share this channel and video with everybody you know. Thanks a lot for joining us. I forgot to ask. Don't forget to head out over to itsonlyfood.biz to check out all my seasoning options. I've got quite a few. I've got five now. So head on over to itsonlyfood.biz, check out that, and to see what else we're about. Thanks a lot. Everybody take care. We love you. Bye-bye.